around. I don't know if we're ready for him. In fact, there, there we it go. Is. Um, we're not going to be able to, to hear him. We can't get sound, but we at least have a visual. Again, this is live right now. Uh, he is near Mediapolis, and we're able to give you that visual um, of the tornado. Now, the picture I got from him just a few moments ago was a little bit further down, but yeah, you can clearly see yep. something's cooking there right now. Yeah. It's too bad about that telephone pole right there, but <laughs> you know what? We, we, Evan Bunkers, he is our freelance meteorologist who's been helping us here on the weekends, uh, weekend evenings, and uh, uh, he is trying to get, get that view. And one of you, yeah, that's definitely a tornado that is on the ground. That, I, that is a tornado that's on the ground. You can see um, the lifting going on, some of the debris coming up. Can you see that, Andrew? Yeah, absolutely. I yeah, mean, that it's is very a, faint, but you can see it. That is a phenomenal view that you've got going on there right now. The perfect structure with the wall cloud, everything else. You've got the rapidly uh, rotating mesocyclone along with it, too. This thing may be cycling, uh, and we're kind of seeing that presentation on radar. Right. It looks like it's getting a little more disorganized as we speak, but... It doesn't take long for these things to cycle back up. It really does. And you can see it's... it's you there know, you it can, is. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's it, really impressive right just there. Just getting a little bit of the ambient sound there. You can see, yeah, well, exactly what Evan is seeing. And again, you're seeing this exclusively live right here on News 8 as we track these storms. A live look at that confirmed tornado that is near Mediapolis. I don't think you need any further confirmation than what we were just watching over the last couple of minutes, that if you're in the path of the storm, uh, it's time to take shelter. It is indeed, it's happening as we speak. Yeah, it's, and it's, you know, you like, I think you're right there. I believe it is recycling itself. Um, so uh, certainly very dangerous that we see there, especially within the path of that storm. And you can see how the tail end of that storm itself, you can actually see some breaks in the clouds uh, off to our southwest. Uh, usually one of those, uh, uh, exquisite pictures that you see when you have that tornado and then in the background you just see almost clear skies and some sunshine behind it. So uh, yeah, it's, you can see how the, low, the base of that cloud deck is just so, it's getting so low. And you can see the lift that's going on with some of the, uh, the dirt that's coming off some of the farm fields itself. That rotation is pretty quick too. I mean, it's amazing how quickly these clouds are spinning. Uh, just a testament to how strong that wind shear is today. And it's nice to see that at least for right now, we don't appear to be any over any overpopulation or over any population, I should say. It looks like we're kind of still out in the open, you know, country area.